we have two MOSFETs, we have inductor, two capacitors. So we're going to see the 3 volt, 5 volt power system. As you can see here, system power 3 volt, 5 volt. Okay, so this is the power management IC, as you can see, U6. Okay, here we have, as you can see, TPS51120. Okay, so here, as you can see, we have two MOSFETs. Okay. In the first channel or in the 5 volt channel we have inductor, two capacitors and here we have plus 5 volt. We will get plus 5 volt in this channel. The second channel we have plus 3 volts as you can see. So we have two MOSFETs, okay? inductor L4, two capacitor, one chemical capacitor and another ceramic capacitor and we have here VBAT. And we have this capacitor, a filtering capacitor. So, of course, the VBAT is the main voltage that will pass through the filtering capacitors. So, to get plus 5 volts, okay, the main voltage, let's assume that this voltage is 19 volts, okay, will pass through these two capacitors. This is a filtering capacitor. And then we'll go directly to this first MOSFET, the high MOSFET. This is the drain of this MOSFET, as you can see, four pins connected together. Okay, so this is a PNP MOSFET, as you can see, because we have this arrow is from source to drain. Okay, from source to drain means PNP channel. Also, the second MOSFET is a PNP channel. Okay. So the voltage will pass through this MOSFET. When this MOSFET get the control signal from the power management IC, the TP is 51120. As you can see here, we have the drive high. This is the control signal. The 19 volt will pass directly to the source. Here also for this MOSFET also, this is its gate. It should get the drive high low, the control signal. Okay. So, as you can see, we're going to see now this channel. Okay. In the motherboard, the real component in the motherboard, let's begin with the power management IC. As you can see, TPS 51120. Let's see it in the motherboard. So, as you can see, this is the TPS51120, okay? The same as we have in the schematic. So, this is the 3 volt, 5 volt power management IC. Its reference is U6, okay? Always U is for ICs, okay? And also, so we're going to see the inductor and this two capacitors, we have C21 and C22, okay? So this is the inductor. We have here L3, the coil or inductor. Here this is the chemical capacitor, C21. And here we have ceramic capacitor, C22, the same as we have in the schematic. So now we're going to see the, these two MOSFETs, the Q1009 and Q1010. So in the back side, we have the first MOSFET, Q1009. The second MOSFET is Q1010, okay? And here we have the ceramic capacitors, C1046 and C1047. As you can see here, this is filtering capacitors. So if you have any problem with the 5 volt channel, you should check all these components. Here we have the pad, the test point. Okay. You should use this test point to check whether you have the 5 volt or not. This is the pad one or the test point where you should check whether you have the 5 volt or not. Okay. This is the test point as you can see. For every circuit, it has a test point or a pad. So let's see now the 3 volt channel, as you can see. So we have always the IC, the power management IC, two MOSFETs, the same. 
we have the VBAT here, the main voltage, okay, capacitor of filtering, the first filtering capacitor, okay, this is inductor L4, here we have two capacitors, also this is a filtering capacitor, in order, in order to get a pure 3 volt voltage, here we have the pad, the test point, okay, so now we're going to see in the motherboard this component, the inductor, the capacitors and the pads. So let's check the motherboard now. So as you can see here, so as you can see this is the inductor. Here we have L4, okay? Okay, the inductor. Near to the to the inductor we have the chemical capacitor C43, as you can see, the same as the schematic. Okay, a polarized capacitor. Here we have the ceramic capacitor. Its reference is C53. Okay, and here we have the test point, pad 2, where we should check whether we have the 5 volt or the 3 volt or not. Okay, so the pad is the test point to check the presence of the voltage or not. Okay. So, of course, if you have any problem with the 3 volts voltage, you should check all these components. Maybe one of these components is bad. Now we're going to see the MOSFETs. As you can see, we have this MOSFETs and the ceramic capacitor. We're going to check it. In the motherboard, we have Q1023, the first MOSFET, Q1025, the second MOSFET. Okay. And here we have the C. 1062 as you can see so here as you can see the first ceramic capacitor is connected to the first MOSFET here okay in its drain it is connected to Q1023 here we have the Q1023 we have the ceramic capacitor C1062 the drain of this MOSFET is connected to the capacitor here we have the source the pin the first pin means three pins are the source here we have the gate Okay, so the source is connected, as you can see, to the drain of the second MOSFET, and then the source of this MOSFET is connected to the ground. Also, the other side of the chemical capacitor is connected to the ground, as you can see here. Okay, these two MOSFETs are connected. The source of the first MOSFET is connected to the drain of the second MOSFET, and the source of the second MOSFET is connected to the ground. Also, the chemical or the ceramic capacitor is connected to the ground in the second side. So, this is all about the system power 3 volt, 5 volt. If you have any problem, if you don't get a 3 volt or a 5 volt, you should check this component, including the IC, the MOSFETs, the capacitors, ceramic capacitors. Okay? You should check VBAT, the presence of VBAT or not. You should check the inductor, the chemical capacitor, and the ceramic capacitor near to the pad. Okay? And of course, you, you should use the pad or the test point to check whether you have the 3 volt or the 5 volt or not. Okay? So here, in the 3 volt channel, what you should check here, if you don't get to 3 volt, you should check the IC first, the MOSFETs, Maybe one is shorted. The ceramic capacitor, check the VBAT, the presence of the VBAT, okay? The inductor, the capacitors, including the ceramic capacitor and the chemical capacitor. So the chemical capacitor is always polarized. And of course, here in the pad, you can check whether you get the 3 volt or not. So these four MOSFETs to, to be activated they have to receive a control signal in their gates from the power management IC. So the control signal is the drive, the control signal or the drive signal. So let's see the control signal here. So as you can see, the drive high, one drive high low for these two MOSFETs. And for other MOSFETs, we have to drive high 2 
and to drive high low so drive high and drive low for both MOSFETs